Okay, today is a special video. Today what I'm going to be doing is a little unboxing. Show you the difference between a bare root and a potted. And also, I will be moving a potted and a bare root. I'm going to go ahead and put the potted in here. So I first I'm going to drill my pilot holes, <coughs> my drainage holes. This is so the roots don't sit in the water. Okay, that's ready. All right, follow me to the back. Let's see what else. That should be it. Okay, I believe what we have in here is a bare root tree. I'll show you the difference. Mm, don't have a knife on me. This is a pomegranate. Yes, my last pomegranate. Okay, it looks pack is pretty good. Salavaski 3-4. So this right here is a Russian pomegranate, which means it's cold hardy. The zone seven. I deal with the online nursery okay this looks like how to plant and care for the tree Rootstock, soil line, graft union. Okay, how far to plant it down, how big the hole should be. Let's see how the roots spread out. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. Chuck that right there. This old girl is going to go directly in the ground. Okay, here's the packing jelly beans. And this is actually water to help the plant uh, while it's while it's traveling. Okay, bare roots. Everything's exposed. It's ready to go in the ground. It's not 
hasn't been trained so therefore you can just set it in all right root stock right here I don't know if you can see that line right there but it's been this tree this is the pomegranate tree it has been grafted on possibly another pomegranate tree that's de disease resistant and also uh, great for the zone that you need so also with the also with this uh, line it means that this this tree is probably uh, disease resistant a certain kind of pest that it normally gets and then also for the height so this tree won't get 20 feet tall possibly so yeah I'm gonna throw her right in the ground okay so that's a bare root here's the difference uh, any meeny miny mo who am I gonna pick on I'm going to pick one Hello, pretty. Okay. Bare root. Pot it. Loosen her up. Untrained, trained. Okay, see how her roots are going around in a circle? What you're supposed to do is loosen it up. Because she's been trained to go in a circle, which is not good for root system because you want these roots to spread out and, and hunt for food not go around in a circle so that's what I'm going to be doing to this is filling it up with dirt here's the root line right here with a graph line here's the graph line so you don't want to plant dirt above this line right here you want to keep everything below it Oh, look at that. She's ready to go. Anytime you see buds as opposed to leaves, this possibly means that this tree will produce fruit this year or this season. So that's a good sign. Okay, let's get this one into the ground, into a new home. I think I have an idea spot for her to give her about 8 to 12 hours of sun. Yes, I think I will set her up here. I have a uh, one, two, three, four, five pomegranates. So I think I'm gonna set them all here along this line. See, the sun is over there for the winter time, but eventually it's gonna move here and it'll come up right here. And that's your southern sky. So everything over here is gonna get about. 8 to 12 hours, excuse me, 8 to 10 hours of sun, maybe even 12. But this is the most sunniest spot in the yard. Back there, it's going to get real shady, um, which I need to do something about because all this area right here, I needed to have at least 8 hours of sun. But as you can see, I have very mature trees, and once these leaves form, it's gonna block out a lot of that yard in the back. So this is why 
why I have pots. See, with the pots, you can follow the sun. You can just move your plant from from area to area. Like, for example, if this tree doesn't like this home right here, it'll show it. Leaf drop, leaves turning, leaves turning yellow. That means it doesn't like its home. So, I'm going to have to dig her up, put her in a pot, or move her to a different area in the yard. And this has happened before with my other pomegranate trees. Nice green leaves. All of a sudden, the leaves started dying. I moved her. She did well for a while. Then the leaves started dropping again. Then what I did is I put her in a pot, and then I moved her to one section of the yard, and her leaves bounced back. So, I'm hoping that this tree, that she will like this spot right here. Hopefully I don't have too many roots. Oh, I don't like that noise. Oh, there's a root right there. And I know all the roots are coming from this tree right here, which I've been cutting on. I need to pull it up, get it out of here. Don't need it, it's not food. All that noise right there, that's roots breaking. All right, let me go get some cutters. life easier not harder these should work I will not turn this into a struggle. <laughs> Look at this. I need a saw for that one. Never, never be afraid to ask for help in the yard. You got some help? Get some help. You got a tool that can dig rather than a shovel, like a little auger. Get the auger. No sense of hurting yourself.
Ooh, this is a big, big root system. Everything down here, see pieces of brick, some denim from jeans. But I haven't seen any worms. Let's get in the ground. And as I said before, we're going to bury her up to about right here, just below the grafting line. Space these out so they can go hunting. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right on time. Now, just a little bit about a pomegranate tree. It grows like a bush, but I know that if you cut some word on the pomegranate tree, is that it's a bush and also it could be trained as a tree. Some people will keep this branch right here. They would keep this branch and take off everything else so it goes straight up like a tree. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. Am I going to keep it a tree or a bush? Trim it or don't trim it? Let it grow 20 feet or keep it down to like 6. Well, I'm going to let it do what it do for the first year. Then I'll make a decision after that. A lot of times I believe on just letting nature does do what it... A lot of times I like to see nature do what it does as opposed to interfering, a lot of trimming, upsetting the natural order of a tree. It's kind of windy today, so I don't know if you can hear that. 